What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today's video, I'm just going to kind of do a update on my 328i. I have had it for about a year now. Um, I've put about 10,000 miles on it. However, I'm going to pretty much tell you guys everything that I've replaced. So, I actually had to write all this down, so I want to forget. So the first thing I did was an oil change. I feel like any used car you get second-handed, you should probably do an oil change. Um, the next thing I did was a engine air filter. Um, my The one that was in there wasn't filthy. It really didn't need changing, but well, it was a little dirty. So I figured it was, it was pretty cheap too. Um, and then um, my car was actually misfiring. The only thing about the misfire, it was weird because it was like an intermittent coil apparently is what they were telling me it was. So it wouldn't misfire all the time. It would pretty much do it like once a week, like pretty much like we pretty much just said, okay, let's just replace all spark plugs and coils and let that be that. Next, and these are in no order really. Um, I had to replace my starter. Woke up one morning, car wasn't starting. Okay, I thought it was a dead battery. I don't know why it would be a dead battery. All my lights were turning on. So I was just, I wanted to be hopeful and say, oh, it's probably the battery. Yeah, I, so I had got a new battery and everything and, it was, and the car still wasn't starting. Later that night, um, we figured out that it was the starter. Yep. Um, I replaced the rotors in the front. Um, I actually had my friend help me with that, which was awesome. Thank you, Chris, thank you. Lastly, I replaced the oil housing filter gasket. These cars are notorious for horrible gaskets. I mean, you look at all the, uh, I don't see, I don't wanna call them horrible. I just wanna say, I don't think they're made well. Let's just say that. I don't think they're made to last. Gaskets themselves are relatively cheap. Um, labor. The thing is, all of these I have gotten with a discount because I work at a dealership, so I'm not getting completely screwed. As if I was to take it to a BMW dealership. Um, so there's that, but there's still the inconvenience of all this happening because you don't want to keep on throwing money at your card. You just want to get in it and you want it. You want the you want the shit to work. But just for the record, everything is working fine now. Um, car is running smooth. and we knock on this fake wood. Everything is good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If interested in more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Peace out, and I'll see y'all next time.